Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the AXO Indie One Piece suit, available at Revzilla.com. So I have Akeem standing to my left. Akeem is tall and thin. He's actually a good fit for this AXO Indie suit, the top of the line from AXO. Akeem 6'2", 175. He has a 40 inch chest, but we have him in a size 52 suit. Now if Akeem was 5'11", or 6 foot, 175, he'd definitely be a 50 with a 40 inch chest. Remember that conversion from Euro, you always take 10 away. But because Akeem's so tall, we want to make sure he has adequate cover in both arms as well as legs. So we've actually sized him up, so he's a little bit of room. And again, that's when you're a tall guy, that's sometimes the trade-off that you do make. Now the AXO Indy, full grain leather available in two colors. This is black, white, red. There's also a black and white, which actually looks really, really gnarly. And from here, if you didn't want some of the external hard part protection and some of the bells and whistles, you could always take a light step away, make a slightly less investment and go with something like the Talon from AXO which again is more of just the weekend warrior track day suit, where the Indy is definitely more of an upgrade in both feature style and comfort. So we look at it, let's start with the top and work our way down. You'll notice that we have a lot of the niceties that we see on any suit, perforation or punctuation scheme on the front. The perforation is going to be a little bit lighter on this suit. In some other suits we see a more of a full steam perforation scheme that's going to flow more air. This one's somewhere in the medium range, but it's not quite like something that's non-perforated. So keep that in mind if you're one of those guys that really runs hot. We have this stretch material in the arms called Kenny Span. It's a strong material that breathes well and allows for range of motion. You have it away from the impact areas and you're gonna see it in the crotch as well as the seats and on the backs of the legs. Now your armor here on the AXO Indy is going to be an external hard part on both elbows as well as shoulders. Notice it here on the elbow. There you go, just go like that. You can see it, or actually show that one on that side a little bit. There you go. And what you have underneath is actually SASTEC molecular armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows you know, in the suit, which are going to be CE rated, but then you get that external hard part slider on the, on the outside as well. And again, that goes with that upgraded. So moving down to the wrist, you're gonna see it's a basic strap as well as our zipper pull here. And notice when we expose the inside, you do have a fully removable, washable mesh polyester liner that's gonna be wicking. So that's a nice upgraded feature that way you can wash it and keep the suit from getting gunky over time. We talked about the Kenny span at the crotch. Moving past that, you see some light perforation. And then going down to the knees, you see big patches that you would put your slider on. CE rated knee armor that goes all the way down to about mid shin. And you're gonna have your entry and exit point down at the bottom as well. Now, Keen, turn the face away from me. Let's look at the side profile. Side profile, again, with our sliders, big areas of elastication. You see the Kenny span below, up under the arms, big elasticated stretch panels along the lats and then down along the backside. And you can see it's kind of a straight shot down the leg. Turn backwards for me, Akeem. Now, another feature that's a great feature and it's gonna be low profile to interface with your helmet. Neoprene back, uh, across the back of the collar. It will not chafe you, it's gonna be wicking, but when you're in the tuck position, there's nothing here that's really hard and thick to get in the way of your, the, the, uh, the neck roll of your helmet. So again, free range of motion. Notice it's also an abbreviated hump. It's more of a muted or lower profile hump than we see in some other suits. Again, that's a personal preference thing. And then you have some light protection, some temper foam panels. You have your big hit the race position for me, Akeem. So notice areas of stretch, huge areas of stretch on the side, in the seat, backs of the arms, double layer of leather in the seat, and then going back, you have more Kenny span on the backs of the calf for breathability as well as flexibility. Come back around to the front for me. So remember, this is AXO's top end suit. It's gonna be that full grain leather, right around that thousand dollar price point. A lot of the features that you see and what you'd expect from in a suit of that investment with the AXO styling and the AXO heritage behind it. I certainly wanna hear your feedback. If you're currently wearing the AXO Indy, or if you're seeing it for the first time, first impressions, leave us your comment on our YouTube channel, which you can click here and you can always subscribe to on, stay up to date with all the latest RevZilla videos. We're constantly rolling out. Leave us your comments, your questions on our product page at RevZilla.com slash AXO. And then as always, if you want to geek out with us, you want to talk about fit, sizing, or features, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. The AXO Indy is over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us. And as always, you can earn Team Zilla cash on it because it's over $100. Earn some money to be applied to your next order by continuing to shop with us. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the AXO Indy Leather One Piece Suit available at RevZilla.com slash AXO. I'm Anthony. See you on the flip side.